We now join Michelle and producer Tony Del Rio in the Independent Lounge. Thanks, Romaine. I'm here with Tony Del Rio. Hey, Tony, how are you? I'm good, how are you? We now go to Ottawa with our correspondent, Bill Walichka. And what kind of things do you ask your students to do in their life? I think that, that that's a really good question. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michelle Rivard for Daytime Toronto on Rogers TV. I'm here at Loblaws at Maple Leaf Gardens at 60 Carlton Street. Joining me is Marcello Piani. He is the store director here at the new Loblaws. How are you doing today? I'm well, how are you? Welcome I'm, to Loblaws. And do you have a favorite memory from Maple Leaf Gardens? I actually remember coming to Maple Leaf Gardens with my dad as a kid. I read just today that uh, as crews were renovating here that there was a time capsule that was found. Rumor has it that he uh, he put a um, he put the box somewhere and it was hidden and it was found uh, just a couple months back. Maybe we could go have a peek for those. Good. What is the mission here at the Toronto Humane Society? We help all homeless animals. You've got lots of dogs that sound really loving and they're just looking for a new home. But first we sent our re reporter Michelle to check out an event at the Me to We store. Take a look. Hi, I'm Michelle Rivard for Daytime Toronto. I'm here at the Me to We store with author and motivational speaker Spencer West. At the age of five, Spencer lost his legs to a genetic disease. Despite that, he's been redefining possible ever since. Spencer, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Oh my gosh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for coming. We're so excited about the event today. So the event today is a launch of your new t-shirt, Redefine Possible, and the proceeds of this t-shirt are going towards your latest cause, which is a climb up Mount Kilimanjaro. Correct, correct. So this t-shirt in particular it literally says Redefine Possible. $10 from every t-shirt goes towards our Redefine Possible campaign to support uh, the projects for Free the Children, specifically towards clean water in Kenya. So um, we're not only did we do this t-shirt, but we're launching a large campaign to go along with this t-shirt that has been launched at the beginning of the year and will continue to go all year until June when I actually climb out Kilimanjaro with my two best friends. So when did you become involved with Free the Children? Yeah, specifically I got involved in 2008. I went on a Me to We trip to Kenya with a friend to build a school and it was while I was there that I really found my passion for development work and it was really the first time that I saw sustainable holistic development work actually breaking the cycle of poverty. But on top of that, not only did I sort of figure out my, my passion for development work, but also through the incredible people in Kenya, I found my passion in how to use my story to inspire other people um, to overcome their obstacles and to get involved. But first, Michelle Rivard went to uh, a local florist to get some good Valentine's ideas. Take a look. Joining me is Rosemary Little of Quince Flowers. Rosemary, how are you this afternoon? I'm great, Michelle, and how are you? Doing very well. Thank you so much for having us here in your shop. It's full of very, very beautiful colors. Thank you. I love colors, so it's, uh, it's my pleasure to go to market in the morning and just choose the best, most vibrant colors that I can find. I'm Shaw. And I'm Theo. And what team do you guys play for? Us three play for the Canadians and he plays for the Yellow Jackets. So what's your favorite hockey team in the whole NHL? Who do you like? The Vancouver Canucks. Oh my gosh, me too. Are you from Vancouver? No. Who's your favorite Canuck? Alex Burrows. I'm so serious. Alex Burrows is my favorite player too. Because I mean, I have to deal with a co-host that's real and sometimes I just can't handle it. <laughs> sometimes I would prefer if my co-host was an inanimate object as well. Thanks so much for watching Independent Scene. I'm Michelle Rivard.